Hi everyone, welcome to Technology. On today's session, I'll be walking you through SonarCube installation and so on. On our last session, we talked about what is SonarCube and SonarCube features. So let's see how we're gonna install SonarCube on this session. All right, so let's go and see what we have to do. So things we're gonna do on this session, we're gonna launch a CentOS instance in AWS Marketplace with two gig RAM. Then we're gonna install Docker and pull SonarCube image. Then number three, we're gonna set up SonarCube on the browser. Those are the three things that we're gonna do on this section. All right guys, so the number one, launch a CentOS instance in AWS Marketplace with two gig RAM. Let's get on it. So I'm gonna over to my AWS console. You already know how, how we do it. So I'm gonna launch instance real quick. Set OS is another Linux operating system, just like Red Hat. All right, so I'm gonna go and uh, I'll call it Sonar Cube. Call it Sonar Cube Cyber. Then uh, Set OS. So I'm gonna go to the marketplace. So let's browse on the marketplace, right? AWS marketplace, and you're gonna find CentOS, and you're gonna find CentOS 7 right here. So select CentOS 7 and click on continue. Yeah, it's gonna bring you right back here. We have the name as Sonar Cube. We got CentOS 7. And the next thing we're gonna do is to select instance type, two gig, so two gig is gonna be T2 small. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to choose our key pair. So I'm gonna choose my assistant key pair, then scroll all the way down to select assistant security group. Select the security group that has all traffic on it. So I'm gonna click that because our Sonar Cube default port number is 9000, 9000. So it's either you have or traffic open on your server, or you have that specific port number 9000 open on your server. So either one of the two. All right, so the next thing we need to do, two gig RAM, my, I selected my security group, and I selected my key, T2 small, and SonarCube server, okay. I'm gonna launch it, then click view all instances. All right, so my Sonar Cube server right here is pending. So I'm waiting for it. All right, so now my Sonar Cube server is running. It's ready. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to connect with my Sonar Cube. So now I need to go to my terminal right here. I'm already on download directory. Uh, so let me check on my Sonar Cube server and click on connect over to SSH client, copy the chmod 400, go right back here, paste, e enter, and copy the SSH example link, go right back, paste, e enter, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna connect, type yes, and e enter. All right, so now I have my CentOS launched, so you can see the user is CentOS. All right, so let me clear my screen. You can actually install Sonar Cube on any uh, server, but we just uh, try different operating systems so we can see how it goes. All right, so let's go back to the Sonar Cube instruction and see what we have to do. So we're done with uh, number one. So number two, install Docker and pull Sonar Cube on it. So before we do that, remember what we have to do first. For the first time you launch your server or you just install some certain application on it, you need to update so let's quickly update our server because we just launched this server as a best practice so sudo yum install update centos and red as they have the same uh, uh command yum all right he enter so now we updating our server all right so now we finish updating so before we install sonar cube we need to go as a root user so how do you go to the root user, sudo su. All right, copy that and paste. All right, so now 
I'm on the root user, so I don't have to use sudo anymore. So before we install our SunaQ package, so we need to navigate to the up folder. So let's copy this, cd up folder. All right, let me clear my screen. All right, so there's some application that require you to navigate to the up folder, to the root and to the up folder to install that. And only admin, only root user can do that. In, in the real time scenario, you might not even be the one to set up all this, but we're just showing you on how to set up, you know, from the scratch. All right, so now we're on the up folder. You can see that. So the next thing, step number two, install and start docker packages so we need to install docker so we can use docker to install our sonar cube image all right so let's install docker packages with these commands all right so i'm gonna copy make sure you don't skip no commands as a first command install device mapper persistence all right so we got that done then number two install and download docker repo all right so we got done then number three install docker all right so now we're installing docker engine so from docker we can use docker to install or to start any image all right so docker finished installing all right, so let's check uh, the Docker status. Like go for, copy that and paste. All right, so we have Docker downloaded, but it's not active, it's dead. All right, so let's use this command to start our Docker. systemctl start Docker. I paste that. All right, so now the Docker have started. Let's confirm that again by running systemctl status docker all right so you can see active running all right so let's go over to step three and see what we have to do let me clear my screen all right so step three download sonar cube from docker registry all right so let's download sonar cube image latest so we are able to download sonar cube image because we have docker all right so we got that done that's downloading all right so that's done so the next thing to verify sonar cube docker image run docker images the command to verify images is docker images all right so we can see we have sonar cube latest and this is the image id that's a container id all right so we got done to so the next thing step four run sonar cube container and map it to port 9000 so we're gonna run sonar cube so we have two containers we have our ec2 which is sent os then from docker engine we downloaded another uh, image which is sonar cube so we have two containers we have container inside container our sonar cube inside our uh, sent os so basically Port 9000 is the default port number for Sonar Cube. So we need to map that port number because we're going to use the root, which is CentOS IP number to access our Docker. So that's why we need to map that port number so we can be able to access the container inside the main uh, root, which is the CentOS. So we have Docker container inside our CentOS. All right, so let's go and run that command to map our port number copy that and run all right so to verify sonar cube docker container running let's run docker ps so docker ps is to check docker container running all right so we have sonar cube running and it map the tcp to port 9000 so that means we can go now and copy uh the ip number of our centos and add colon 9000 to it and we should be able to uh, to access our sonar cube on the browser all right so let's go back right here click on the id link copy the set to us ip come right back to the browser paste and had colon 9000 that's port 9000 and you should see 
this page coming up. So we have Sonarcube browser set up. All right, so let's go back to the instruction and see what next we have to do. All right, so we've done step five. We copy our IP and have port 9000 to it. So the next thing we need to do is to log in with the admin default username and password and it's going to prompt to change the password. All right, so let's go and do that. So remember, username is admin, password is admin. All right, so you should see your sonar keep up. So we're going to use uh, the default username and password, which is admin and the password admin and enter. Don't save. So it's going to ask you for the old password, which is admin and the new password. Now let's use admin one, two, three. Then confirm admin one, two, three. All right. So let's update that. All right, so you should see your Sonar Cube browser set up like this. So let's go back and see what we've missed and nothing. So we set up our new password and you should have your Sonar Cube uh, browser page uh, come up like this if everything is being set up properly. All right, so let's recap and see what we did. We, uh, we installed, we launched CentOS instance on AWS console marketplace. We installed Docker engine and pull Sonar Cube image and we set up uh, SonarCube on the browser. All right, so basically, this is how to install SonarCube uh, using Docker. So in our next section, we're gonna use SonarCube to analyze our project and we can see how SonarCube scan. So this brings us to the end of this section and I hope you learn. Thank you.